Hello, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. So St. Patrick's Day is on this Sunday, March 17. And um, I'd like to show you how to crochet a cute little Irish doily. And this pattern is another truly vintage one. It was published in 1915 in a, a book called Priscilla Crochet Book. I love to go and find these uh, really old uh, crochet patterns and figure out their um, stitches because the terminology is definitely quite different that we use today but um, they always have good explanations so it's not too hard so let's make this one today it's uh, quite easy it only has 13 rounds, works up quickly, and it measures about 9 inches in diameter. And you can choose the thread or yarn which you'd like. Uh, I used, I found this nice green color on um, Lydia's crochet thread selection. And... Uh, crochet hook is uh, 1.75 millimeters so that worked out perfectly and uh, let's get started with the doily and we start with slip knot and then chain 8 2, 3 four, five, six, seven, eight. Join this into a ring with a slip stitch into the first chain. And the first round, uh, chain three. And now double crochet 19 times into the ring. The first three chains count as the first double crochet. So we have a total of 20, double crochets on first round and to finish the first round we will slip stitch into the third beginning chain to close that ring uh, round two chain six three four five, six, then skip the next double crochet here, this one, and double crochet into the next. Now chain three, skip next double crochet stitch here, and double crochet into the next, and repeat. Three chains, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. I did last three chains and I finished this uh, round uh, with a slip stitch into the third beginning chain and to double check we need to have ten of these spaces here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and for round three first slip stitch into the next chain space and then chain three this counts as the first double crochet stitch and now double crochet three times into that same first space skip the double crochet stitch here and double crochet four times into the next chain space two three, four, and repeat. Skip the double crochet stitch and double crochet four times into the next space. Two, three, four. 
and to uh, finish round three we need to slip stitch into the beginning third chain and not to worry if uh, this seems this round seems a little tight the following rounds will even it out so round four now chain six three four five six this counts as the first double crochet stitch and three chains and then skip the next double crochet here on last row and double crochet into the next let's just like we did on round two here again chain three skip next stitch and double crochet into the next chain three skip double crochet next and repeat and to finish round four slip stitch into the third beginning chain here and round five is exactly the same as round three we did here first slip stitch into the chain space then chain three that counts as the first double crochet then double crochet three more in the same space skip this double crochet here and to four double crochets into the next chain space three four skip this one here and again four double crochets to the next and I finish round five with a slip stitch into the third beginning chain and round six Oh, now this is the round that takes longest to complete because we need to do lots of picots here so we start with two chains and now all the picots are uh, five chain picots so now in addition I'll chain five more two three four Five. so it's up to you how you want to count your chains you can just count seven here or two and five and now to do the pico uh, insert your hook into the fifth chain from the hook so I do need to have two chains here and I insert hook in here and then just do a slip Stitch. Pull, pull the thread through the loops after that chain two more and again we need to chain five more for pico two three four five and do the same here are my first two chains and I need to insert my hook into that fifth chain from the hook and pull thread through this is my slip stitch after second pico I need to chain seven two three four five six and seven and now again five more for pico one two three four five I like to put my finger here on that last seventh chain so that I, I have it's easier to count backward and now again do the pico into the fifth chain from the hook with a slip stitch now chain two five more for pico three four five insert hook into the fifth chain from the hook do a slip stitch and two more chains 
So now we have this string with four picos. And now on that previous round, we need to count five double crochets here below. I don't count that beginning three chains here. I'm going to start counting with that first actual double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. Insert hook into the space after the fifth. So it's between fifth and six. And do a single crochet here. And now we repeat. So we need to have 16 of these. So let's do one more together. Chain two and five more. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do a pico, insert hook into fifth chain from the hook. Do a slip stitch. Chain two and five more. Two, three, four, five. Insert hook into the fifth chain, slip stitch, after second pico chain 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, do your pico into the fifth chain from hook, slip stitch, chain 2, Five more, two, three, four, five, to a pico, and last two chains here, and now here below, this is the first double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, insert hook after the fifth one into the space between fifth and sixth and single crochet and repeat this all around and I'm finished with my last pico part here and I'm going to single crochet into that beginning stitch here And now the seventh round, the beginning is a little tricky. We need to slip stitch our way all the way to the middle of this part here. So let's see. So I'm going to do slip stitch here in the first chain, the second one. And then I'm just gonna I turn that peak around and do try to do a slip stitch behind it here. Basically wherever you can find a good space to do that. It's not so specific. So then I'll slip stitch into the next chain after that first pico, then into the next. Again, trying to find space here to slip stitch behind that second pico. Okay. And now it's a little easier. Now slip stitch into first three chains here. So one, two, and three and also into the fourth so then we'll be in the middle of the seven chain space here so that's good and now we can start uh, round seven i'm going to single crochet into that same chain and now chain ten two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach over to the next seven chain space here. 
and count to the fourth chain. So one, two, three, fourth. Insert hook here and do a single crochet here. And again, chain 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then repeat. Again, that 7 chain space, count to the 4th. 1, 2, 3, 4th. Single crochet here. And now just repeat this all around. And to finish round seven, here are my last 10 chains. I will slip stitch into the beginning single crochet. And now round eight, start with three chains. This counts as a first double crochet. And into the 10 chain space here, double crochet 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And now next uh, double crochet into that single crochet stitch here. And repeat. Again, the double crochet 11 times into the chain space. And then one time into the single crochet here. And repeat all around. And I finish round eight with a slip stitch into the third beginning chain. And now for round nine, first um, slip stitch into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And now single crochet into that same stitch where you did the last slip stitch, the same space. One. And now six more single crochets. So we need seven single crochets here. One and two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now chain five, two, three, four, five, and skip next five double crochets. So here, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into that next. And now single crochet six more. So again, we need seven single crochets here. So two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain five, two, three, four, five. And then again, we skip five double crochets here. So two on this side, one in the middle, two on this side. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet to the next and repeat this all around and to finish round nine i did my last five chains and i will slip stitch into the first single crochet and round 10 slip stitch into the next single crochet and also single crochet in that same stitch. And now we have to do five in each of these parts. So we did one and two, three, 
4 and 5. So we skip the last one. We skip first and last on both sides. Now chain 5, 3, 4, 5. And uh, single crochet in the middle of that 5 chain space. And chain 5 more. 3, 4, 5. Skip the first single crochet here and single crochet to the next and two five here. So one, two, three, four, five. And now repeat one, two, three, four, five chains, single crochet in the middle of chain space and five more chains, three, five, skip first single crochet, single crochet into the next and two, five, and repeat. And to finish this round again, I will slip stitch into the first beginning single crochet stitch. And now round 11, I will slip stitch first into the next single crochet and then I will make a single crochet into that same space, one, and then two more. So I have three here, one, two, and three, and skip that last one. And now uh, chain five, three, four, five, single crochet into that next five chain space. You can either find the third chain to single crochet in or just into that space, it's up to you. Uh, chain five more, three, four, five. Again, single crochet into the next five chain space. Chain five more, four, five. And now skip that next single crochet here and single crochet into the next and do two more. Two. So here we have three here. And now repeat this all around three times of five chains and then three single crochets here in the middle. And again, uh, finish this round with a slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch here. And round, let's see if I can get this. And round 12, start the same way, slip stitch into that next single crochet and also single crochet in it and that's going to be the only single crochet stitch here to finish this triangle part and then chain five five single crochet into the next chain space chain five single crochet into that <clears throat> next chain space chain five Five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the next space. And five more. One, two, three, four, five. And now skip the first single crochet and single crochet into the next. And skip the last one. And now repeat this for the whole round 12. And finish round 12 with a slip stitch into the first beginning single crochet. And now the last 13th round. 
uh, I need to slip stitch into the first three chains here to get to the middle of the chain space. So I do one, two, and three. And from here I can start the edge. Uh, so chain three, and now we're gonna do um, picots. Uh, it's again, it's a five chain pico. So one, two, three, four, five. And then insert hook into the fifth chain from hook and slip stitch. And your pico is made. And then chain three more. And now a uh, single crochet into the middle of the next chain space here let's do the next chain three now chain five more for pico three four five then insert hook into the fifth chain from hook pull thread through to the slip stitch and chain three more And single crochet into the next chain space here. Uh, one more, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Do the pico. Chain three more. And now we're um, here at this part where we have our um, triangle here below. So this one is a little different. I'm going to insert my hook into that third chain on the next chain five space like this. And then I will also insert my hook into the next chains, third chain right here. And now yarn over and pull the thread through all these three loops on hook. So it's kind of pulling this part together here. And from here I can start the same thing, um, the picots. So chain three to five chain pico and so forth. Again, so when you get to this part where you have that triangle here below, let me show that one more time. So here I am again. I did uh, three chains, pico and three chains. And in this space, chain space, I'll just insert my hook through that middle chain. I don't yarn over or do anything else here. Uh, also insert your hook through the next chain, the third chain on the next space. And now yarn over and pull through all these three loops. That's how I think it it looks the best and then continue on three chains five chain pico and repeat this all around and to finish that last round of picots I did my last uh, chains and the last pico and I'm here in that middle part again and so I'll insert hook into that middle third chain here on this side and then also on the other side and just like before just pull the thread through all these loops and then you're finished and then just fasten off
and here's my finished doily so this one definitely needs uh, blocking to uh, look the best because it's a it's kind of a small one and uh, you um, definitely want to get it in shape uh, I use uh, spray starch because it's it gives it a strong nice shape you can just use water if if that's what you prefer and um, I hope you like this video tutorial to make the cute Irish doily uh, you can find a written pattern on my website and um, happy St. Patrick's Day